CNN The Senate Foreign Relations Committee used 129 votes ensure that Jack Lew was nominated as U.S. Ambassador Israel. Although Lew took office relation nuclear agreement with Iran. According a person vote according a person room. Ministration of Obama. President Ben Cardin said that Lew's candidacy would be moved to a quickly Olusta full to floor. Game and hoped that the majority leader Chuck Schumer could nominate as soon as possible on Thursday. Cardin. Senator Schumer in my speeches. He wanted to know how quickly I can get the candidacy from the committee. He said, Lou, Republican Sen who voted with the Democrats in favor of his nomination, except for Rand Paul. He proceeded in party line vote. Cardin said there were speeches that support Lou in a floor vote about other Republicans. And despite the divided committee voting, it was still broad support to Israel in the fight against Hamas. Last week, Lou, during approval hearing, defended record of Iran's nuclear agreement, and clearly said U.S. believed that he was dealing with a bad, malignant government finances bad and malignant activities first Lou was grilled by Republican members committee on questions about roll roll sanctions against Iran, especially as part 2015 nuclear agreement. In addition, Biden administration could not prevent Tehran from using funds returned by the United States with abolition of additional sanctions for malignant activities. The committee voted against Lou. The senior Republican Senator Jim Risk said last week, after confirming real problems with Jack Lou, I believe that best thing you can say about this is that J.C. Ponin badly misleaded Congress in functioning and helps us access U.S. financial system when he promises to us when he sits in same chair. The big problem. Lou played an important role in the original Iranian nuclear agreement in 2015, saying that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu gave Iran a clear way for an atomic arsenal.